I need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. Ah oh, yes, all of the excitement of a grocery shopping simulator. Hello! <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Tell Me Why. Um, I'm not going to look at all of these. Uh, uh, any drink preferences? Ah, uh, juice is more interesting than soda or water. We can get some juice for tomorrow morning. Right. I'll grab some OJ. I mean, do you really need to know... ...to know all of these? You, you can pretty much... Can you you something? can get the general yeah, idea. An inventory. You don't want in on this. Trust me. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't going to share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. It does look pretty cool though. So, what are you thinking snack-wise? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Chips. Salt and vinegar is the only thing that sits right if my stomach's acting up. Wasn't planning on making out with anybody tonight. So, let's go for it. Man, I wish we had a toast. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. I'll take the strong one. Now, what was the other thing? Candles. Do you want four candles or do you want candles for forks? Candles for forks, even. I can't believe I might start that joke and then I butchered it. You're to be How annoying. Yep, that's the plan. I'll probably start by cleaning honey buckets, but one day I'll make it to Denali. <laughs> you say Denali like the whole thing's covered in gold leaf. It's your dream, huh? Yeah. There's just no place like it in the whole world, and I want to help keep it that way. Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? No way, it's still here. I thought Tom would have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12-pounder. But it is not a candle. And I'll talk to you later once we've got candles. The bat's got to be candles around here somewhere. Are you... is this where candles are? No, this is where food are. Got any plans in Juno? Oh, yeah. Um, well, this is a house cooking school there. I'm gonna be a chef. Are you gonna open up your own restaurant? Oh, slow down, Tiger. Maybe someday, but in the meantime, I'll be washing dishes as I work my way up to Juno's cutthroat diner industry. I bet you won't be washing dishes. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Let's see. Fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of the fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy ass candles. I am, I am not seeing candles here at all. Hey Tom, when'd you get that new California plate? You remember that nice young couple who came through town last summer? With the funky band. They sent you their license plate? Their band got impounded, but I pulled some strings to get it out. 
So by pulled strings, you mean you gave Eddie a discount on those new waiters? I've got friends in high places. Something that annoys me a bit about this game that I've noticed is, I suppose it makes sense if the character's far away for the character's uh, voice to be quiet. It's just the character's voice can be very quiet sometimes when the character is far away. And I feel for the sake of letting people hear the dialogue, that's not the best way for the game to do this. <laughs> Remember how we would stage sit-ins at the candy aisle? What do we want? Candy corn! When do we want it? Before we go home! Ah, candy corn. So nasty. Inventory, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? I don't know who arranged all the shelves today, but they're a total mess. Are you coming for me, Ronan? Do I have to remind you of the great spreadsheet disaster of 2014, huh? We don't talk about that. I just made one tiny function mistake. Which wound up in the store almost ordering $10,000 worth of tampons. <laughs> you really saved my ass when you caught that. Yep, and you still owe me for it. Anyway, how's your day going? It was just kind of unsettling to go back to the old house after all this time. How are you feeling? Still unsettled, but it'll pass. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Do you know where the candles are? Do you know where they are? What do we still need to get? I haven't found the candles yet. Well, look, I'll see you in a minute once I've found the candles because it's, it's clearly quite hard finding them. Up their interior design team. They didn't used to have a license plate wall, right? Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's it going, Tom? Great. The campaign's prospects have got me completely energized. Pumpkins get bigger every year. Well, you know, our produce vendor has won several ribbons at the Alaska State Fair. I heard she spent a thousand dollars on her starter seeds. Can you imagine? So, how's the day off going? Well, Ty's here, so hard to complain. Good for you. Family's important. How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Uh, don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? I... <laughs> So I, I don't like small talk. So you're gonna... Okay, I'll talk to you later. Not hear much of this in this let's play. Sorry. That pumpkin's huge. Did they always sell this much produce here? I mean, kale. In Delos Crossing? Yeah, Tessa was paleo for a hot minute and her whole gaggle of church ladies followed suit. The madness spread from there. That really is one enormous pumpkin. Oh, canned ham? How do people eat this? Ugh, snob much? It's not that bad. Weren't you the picky eater when we were kids? 
How many hours did we spend here as kids? A lot. Marianne would come here to play cards with Tessa and we'd have the run of the place. It was the highlight of the week. We'd play on the playground and Tessa would let us fill our plates at the restaurant. And it got Marianne off our backs for a little while. Let's see, fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy ass candles. Okay, I don't know how I didn't know those were, why I didn't know those are candles, but those are candles. You only live once. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. Oh my god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Mm. We have all the stuff that we needed. Um, I think perhaps we ought to. Uh, see, there it is again. Aha! You need to find the right place. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Hmm. Huh. Well, I mean, it doesn't seem like the two of them were actually close friends, but I suppose friends can sometimes argue with each other. Uh, where are you? Okay, there you are. Uh, 
Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Yeah, Tessa seems less annoyed in, um, in Tyler's recollection of it. Okay, we remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Brush them on, you know? But whatever happened, after that they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Would you... Uh, no, Rashomon, um, I did film studies uh, at uh, a university. Anyway, uh, Rashomon was a, a Japanese film about a murder and four uh, witnesses ca gave uh, four very different um, uh, testimony about... Um, the, the way they remembered what happened. They all remembered the same events very differently to each other. Is it going to be? I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? I want to... Please. Um, I prefer Tessa now. not angry, to calling personally. No, Tessa was. She went on Let's Jack just Thompson talk for a few minutes, okay? Going to be? So I suppose it doesn't matter that much. Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. Let me see if I can't do both. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. I'd rather knock before I go in. If that's... Did you finish Shape of Yesterday yet? Oh, almost. Sorry, I'll give it back next week. Oh, there's no rush. I was just wondering if you were enjoying it. The teen pregnancy plotline was a choice, but her descriptions are nice. Mm, she has such a way with words. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. I may have a little less going on in the hair department. But you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. All right. (sighs) 
Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. I know, I could have, um... I, I didn't need to immediately jump in with my question. Um, I could... Let's say I want to be direct with Tessa. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. I'm about to get demonetized. This is it, right? I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seen what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. Kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere.
keeps a bunch of them where? In her office? I don't know what, what you mean by this. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. Mm -hmm. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Marianne? I don't know. I saw it in Marianne's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Marianne felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? Okay, so I'm guessing that... Okay, there's another memory here. I want to have the crispy tocino, and noodles and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Man, I miss Tessa's cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm. No, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. Hello there? Are you here for me or my cigarettes? Hey, you're more than just a pack of cigarettes to me. So your deadline for the Culinary Academy was Monday, right? <sighs> Turned in my application, mother dear. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Well, I will be once I know I got in. I am not worried about that. Did you give them my recommendation letter? Mmm, no, hon. While that paragraph about my salmon puff recipe was truly moving, it, it doesn't work like that. Psh, just tell them I discovered Bourdain. Then they'll take my opinion seriously. Taking a break already? Yeah, I needed a moment of zen. Tessa's been on my ass all day. Look, I get one count wrong, and she has to triple check everything. Like we'd go full on Lord of the Flies if there was one too many frozen pizzas. It kind of sounds like she has a good reason to doubt your commitment to the inventory process. Oof, Brutus. Later. Yeah, he's not gonna. All right. Well, there were. There are a couple of options here. Hmm. Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of bibinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. So, either we need to ask someone who knows um, about this, um, this, this group that the pamphlet was about, or we could just go back home and uh, look at the pamphlet. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. Yeah, I think they're all piled up in Tessa's office somewhere. Alright, fine. Um, back to 
going in her office without her permission. I'm sure she'll be very happy with us uh, rummaging through her stuff to find that notebook. Don't mind me. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. That was a terrible excuse. Ah, 2004. Anything interesting? Okay. show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. Okay, well, unfortunately, um, I think that's going to have to be it for this episode because it's been going on for a while. Um, I will see you next time.